So it's a great chance, dude. I've just so many guys who normally be selfish pricks, just going straight up, cool, whatever. You know? Normally selfish, bitchy, sketchy pricks, now kind of snapping out of it. So, at 6.08 p.m., Wednesday, March 25th, Dundas Square, BK for manforwars.com. Corona crisis, great chance for men to save polite Canadians to save Canada. People who put each other in good mood. Not guys who piss, piss each other off acting bitchy and sketchy and make uh, other guys and girls and kids act bitchy and sketchy and then make each other uncomfortable and run around shaking near strangers, bothering them with the same shit they pissed each other off doing. Not that, but actual polite Canadians. Right? You can respect each other, communicate well. Because then, then people can talk about what's going on. They can share health tips. You can be like, Hey, I'm a smart Canadian. I want to talk. No, I love it. Zombie wants to make you zombie. You can't talk. Who bothers people, make them bother you, then make more zombie. It's like, phew, that's zombie shit. Zombies are looking for that. They're walking around looking for people relaxing, mind their business. Put up with me. People nice to each other. Look at me like I'm nice, but not sketchy mean, right? So, again, this corona crisis is a great chance for men to save polite Canadians who can save Canada. Otherwise, you can't. Don't look at me. I'm just an idiot. But if you people can get along, so you smart people can, can talk and do stuff. Respect each other. Teach kids to. Put each other in a good mood. And it's just left up to me. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Not totally, but basically, I'm just one idiot. But if, if we save polite Canadians, they can save Canada. If not, we're probably fucked. Excuse me. So. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said hi to you and I said hi to him to make sure it was cool to say hi to you. Oh, excuse me. Don't you cock up anybody in front of me. Sorry, anyway, um, I don't do that. That's why I'm cool. I know you can say men suck, men suck, men suck. I see your fucking toilet's clogged. And then, oh, thank you for coming. I'm so glad you're here. Be nice to you. Get a problem. It's like now, right? So, men can say polite Canadians to save Canada. Oh, if they come too close to you, they force you to put up with them, force you whatever. It's just garbage bothering people. It's garbage that knows you're not going to like it. And it's garbage that's going to force you to put up with it, knowing you're not going to like it. And then you can't do anything with that garbage. And it just floats around like some garbage in the, in the sea is floating near people and bothering them. Right? So that's the problem. So if men say polite Canadians should save Canada, then it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. If you know you're not going to bother people, not going to bother you, not going to bother you. Acknowledgement, avoidance, reassurance. Possibly even flattery. And that's the classic. It's just an option, right? And guys desperate for that from other guys, there's no men left to treat you like a girl. You don't try to look like a girl anyway. It just never works. There's somebody! I mean, if you're serious being Twinkie gay guys, serious trans, fine. But just regular straight guys, nothing to look at, no one to look. You can't walk slow, look cool, and be hot with me or you, man. We're both straight guys. We can run really fast and barely force people to look at us. That we can do. Be like, hey, walk slow, look cool, try to feel hot. This isn't working. Put up with me, asshole. You're not going to like it. That's what you got to stop. And if regular straight guys stop that, then other guys will stop. Girls and kids will stop. Somebody acting sketchy. You just discourage it. You have to go crazy. I have to go crazy because you won't go because you won't do anything. But you have to go crazy. You just have to discourage it. Hey, how's it going? Put up with me. You're going to make us uncomfortable. going to make you bother me back. No, 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 no. Never mind. Look away. Okay, never mind. I'll stop. Not, hey, how's it going? With people they know. Then they'll get along and they won't bother strangers. If you have to bother people back and forth, people you know, then you will bother strangers. And then you will try and make more zombies out of everyone. And big, strong, badass dudes, just like myself. Average height, average weight, average build. Well, fuck everybody, them, themselves, each other, and everybody up. Right? I know what you mean, guys. We're the middle children of history. We have no great war. We have no Great Depression. Our Great War is a spiritual war. Our Great Depression is our lives. Except now we do! We got the coronavirus crisis. We got the martial law possibility. We got, we got China going back to work after 30 days. We're supposed to stay home for 18 months. We got a possible depression. Now we do! How exciting! The bored, lying, bitchy, Middle children of history, men, finally have something to do besides piss each other off and break girls and kids so girls and kids don't respect them and they piss them off too. With all due respect, of course. Oh, excuse me. Mm hmm.
Get away with get away with making people put up with you all the time. Then you won't be able to do anything else. It just becomes a lifestyle choice, right? Uh, if you if you act sketchy with everyone you know, and make them uncomfortable or act sketchy back, then you can't look at and talk to each other. You run around shaking near strangers. If you're mentally ill, it's sad. If you're not, it's stupid, right? Oh, well, you could do it. You can go near any guy you respect, fuck with him, force him to see something, and then not be able to do anything with any guy you respect. You're sure get me, and that is the problem. Go ahead. It's not me. I'm just an idiot. If you people, if, if men say Plek Age has saved Canada, then we're fine. If not, this is what you do to them. Hey, it's a guy who can talk. Put up with me. Now, make you quite uncomfortable. What are you going to do? you going to look at it? It's kind of gross. No, you're not. You're going to have to bother me back. Now, you're a zombie, too. Now, you act rude and sketchy back and forth with anyone near you. And when it's hard to be near you, you go force straight yourself close to strangers to force them to look at it. There. That's what you do with anybody that can talk. Hey, you're the fun to bother. You put up with me. Yeah, I like you. Put up with me. Now I can't do anything. I gotta bother somebody else. It's a great chance for men to save polite Canadians to save Canada. It is. Yeah. Menforce.com. Wars.com. War on your balls. War on this. War on that. We got it. Virus. Crisis. Martial law. Depression. Oh, see, as soon as they get worked up and force you to put up with them because you know you're not going to like it, it's just garbage floating near people, making more garbage that puts up with an axe like it. That's what you got to stop. It can't just be garbage. I know you're not going to like this, so I make you put up with it. Yeah, bro, I can't look at it. Okay, fine. You have to bother me back. Yeah, I can't look at you. Yeah, let's go four strangers to see this garbage. That's garbage. That's garbage. That's rude lying on Canadian trash, brainwashed, and it being turned to zombies, softened up for this. Both the great Alex Jones yelling at the man for 25 years. They're going to use they're going to use a pandemic to bring in martial law, medical tyranny. You're crazy, oops. Here we are. So, whatever. Guys, stop feeling sorry for yourselves. Embarrassing yourselves. Feel sorry for yourselves. Stop feeling sorry for the girls. They both feel better. Yeah. It's all good. They'll do half the work for you. They don't care. They just want a chance <laughs> to be like, it doesn't matter. They'll make you taller. They'll make you better looking as long as you're not a miserable lying, bitchy, sketchy mess. They don't care. <laughs> you know, part of it's for just fantasizing about it. Right? But if you try and force people to look at you, not 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 a, a straight thing, not a gay thing, not a trans thing, nothing that makes it easier for people to respect each other and communicate well, then, uh, then no. You know, you don't see gay guys, I don't know a lot of, but you don't see gay guys in the gay bar, hey, bother you, run away, <laughs> make it impossible for us to do anything. That's zombie. That's what we got to be. This Corona crisis is a great chance for men to save polite Canadians who save Canada. And there will be men, and there will be straight men, with nothing to look at and no one to look, who stop bothering each other and not respecting each other. And stop making girls and kids do the same thing. And stop looking at me like I'm cool, but also an idiot. Because it's not that bad when your buddies are addicted to being stupid and making you be stupid. And you can't do anything else but bother people with stupid shit. But you can stop them. I can stop them. You don't like it. Don't walk into a gay bar and say, you faggot, stop fucking. No, you're all getting along, talking to each other. Not, hey, put up with me. You're not going to like it. Put up with me. You're not going to like it. Oh, you're not going to like it. No, no, you're not going to like it. Oh, oh. Now run away from each other. Oh. Just glad I got away with that. Never see that person again. That's not straight. That's not gay. That's zombie. That's radical left, not classic neoliberal, even classic Canadian liberal, where people could respect people and talk and talk to people who thought different. It is the zombification process where you're supposed to hear the same things. Nothing different. Anyone says anything different, don't let them. Stop them from talking. Make sure you turn them into a zombie too. And you can't, you can't hear anything different, you can't think. And you can't think, you can't say anything different, why talk? Yeah, we all hear the same, think the same, say the same, do the same. We're all the same fucking annoying zombie that doesn't feel like talking about it, it just feels like being selfish and sketchy near people. See? 
That's just garbage bothering people. That's what it does to polite Canadians. If men help people stop, they'll stop doing that. Somebody did that to them first. Somebody's been picked on them. Hey, put up with me. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Put up with me. Yeah, gross. I can't just look at that shit. You can't just look at somebody acting sketchy, knowing you're not going to like it. So you have to do it back. And then you turn to a zombie. After a while. Not like a movie in a few hours. It takes a few months. But after a while, it's like, hey, how's it going? Put up with me. Oh, how's it going? Put up with me. You spin around in circles where you can't look at each other looking for somebody else to force to put up with you. Right? So this is a great chance for men to save polite Canadians to save Canada. Seriously, people are a lot nicer now. I know, I'm, you know me, I know you. Come on, we're solving up for this. You know? Instead of being like, hey, get away bothering you. So, like, oh, crisis, we're gonna actually need each other. So this is an excellent chance for men to save polite Canadians who save Canada. As soon as it forces you to put up with it, knowing you're not gonna like it, it's not my wife or girlfriend. It's not, it's not. It's just garbage bothering people like that. Pretend bitchy, sketchy wife or girlfriend. If it was mine doing that in public, it'd be embarrassing. I'd have to stop what's wrong or calm down. It doesn't happen much with mine. Mine don't do that, embarrass us. But occasionally you were arguing just before you go to a wedding or a party and your friends notice you're not comfortable with each other so you gotta settle them down a bit, right? But, but it's just people doing that near each other. You see, that's, that's, what, I, that's what they do. That's what they do to people who can be nice, who can be, look at and talk to people. That's why this is a great chance. The Corona crisis is a great chance for men to help people stop acting rude and sketchy with each other and making everyone else act rude and sketchy and to save polite Canadians who can save Canada. This is a great chance. Right? See, they just want to get away. They're not sure what to do. Not sure what to do. Not sure what to... Hey, can we be cool? Can we be sketchy? Can we be cool? Sketchy? No, it's not a smaller guy. I'm an average guy. Average height, average weight, average build, right? And so sometimes, uh, blood like Ed Norton and Tim Hortons. Sometimes I'm crazy shit like Brad Pitt. It's all good. <clears throat> Everybody can do it. We're the middle children of history, man. We have no great war. We have no great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. Until the corona crisis. Now we got a coronavirus. Now we got a martial law crisis. We got a possible depression. People need to respect each other and communicate as opposed to attacking anyone who can, turning them into a zombie, who attacks anyone who can do anything else and turns them into a zombie until it's all the same zombie. It's all, yeah, you know what we're going to do. I'm going to be annoying and bother you. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be annoying and bother you. Yeah, yeah. I can't really do much, say much, look at each other, be nice or even care. It's so you're going to bother other people. You know what? Instead of bothering each other, let's go bother strangers with the same shit we annoy each other with. Good idea. Right? That's the zombification process. Right? And make it all people stop. It doesn't care what people are doing. It's, just, it's like gum on the ground. If you go near it, it'll bother you. Just avoid it and feel better. Can't get upset. Not personal. Anyone who goes near that gum is going to go yuck or just avoid it and feel better. That's all. Oh, you see what happens the opposite, bro. Like, I, I feel you. Nice bike. You know. The opposite's worse. You know. If you do that. Right. Doesn't matter. Bitter is bitter. That's a cult. He saw him in Ottawa years ago. Some people are like, ah, I'm a bitch and a bitch's bitch is part of a big bitchy organization. It's like, whatever. So... Yeah, usually it's fine. Once I got into a bit of a scrap with him, I had to whip out a cigarette and light it and put it in my fist and kind of threaten. And he's, you know, about the same size, just gave up, kept moving. There was a quiet area in Ottawa along the river, a wooded area, just the two of us. And I was like, uh-oh, one of you bitter spitters. So, yeah, it's fine. <sighs> See, as soon as it tries to make you put up with it, knowing you're not going to like it, that's a zombie. Men can help people stop. Men can, this Corona crisis is a great chance to save polite Canadians to save Canada. Not attack anybody that can be a polite Canadian, turn him into a zombie that attacks anybody who can be a polite Canadian until we're all the same zombie. This makes it hard. Then you can't say anything. You can't do anything. You just have to hear the same thing, think the same thing, say and do the same thing, not bother talking because it's too boring when you all think the same thing. Can't, nothing different. Can't discuss things. You just have to act sketchy near each other and after you act